What's up, guys? It's Puppy here, bringing you a Battlefield 3 gameplay. Wait, what? Battlefield 3? Puppy! Battlefield 4's out! Why are you posting this? It's so yesterday! Uh, well, I know that. And guys, I don't have Battlefield 4, and I'm not gonna have it for another month when the Xbox One comes out. So, until then, all I got is the games that I got. So, in the meantime, this is kind of an alt-tab kind of video. You don't have to actually watch the gameplay. All you gotta do is listen to my beautiful voice. Uh, so first things first, today is a really special day. I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a person out there in the world who happens to maybe be watching this video. His name is Everett, and today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Everett. So if you guys could go ahead and also wish Everett a happy birthday down in the comment section, that would be much appreciated. I'm sure he will enjoy it as well. And uh, Everett, you can thank your dad for this. He's the one that, uh, he, it was his idea. Totally his idea. So, now, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about something. I didn't really have any other topics planned for today. Honestly, this video was just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to give this the Everett a shout-out. It's happy birthday, Everett. So, uh, zombie apocalypse, that always works. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I like to sit and think a lot when I'm not playing video games. And when I'm not thinking about video games, one of the things that I think about a lot is the zombie apocalypse. And what I would do in a zombie apocalypse. Now, I always think it's important to have a game plan. Now, it, <laughs> yeah, sure, zombie apocalypse. In reality, probably not actually going to happen. But it's always good to have some sort of, like, super end-of-the-world scenario type what-would-you-do thing in mind. Uh, I just like to give it the zombie apocalypse flavor because that makes it a little bit more entertaining for me. So, while you're wishing Everett a happy birthday in the comment section, you can also tell me what you would do in a zombie apocalypse. Ap apoc ap <laughs> you know the word, Armageddon. That one. Yes, Ragnarok or whatever name it goes by. The end of days with zombies. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. I love that show and like a lot of the things they do in that show are brilliant. Some of the stuff that they do as a group, I'm like, what are you doing? And, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm current with the season, just so, or, or the current season, but please, guys, no spoilers or anything like that in the comment section in case anybody else is here that may not have actually already seen The Walking Dead. But, like, in watching The Walking Dead, like, some of the stuff they do, I'm like, yeah, that's a really good idea. You know, uh, I, I would totally do that. And some of the stuff, I'm, like I said, I, I, it doesn't make any sense. So, my zombie apocalypse plan is to, first off, when it strikes, grab my kids, grab my wife, try to head over to my mom's place, because she's not too far away. We're going to grab her, and then we're going to drive to Alabama. Why Alabama? Well, first off, my wife has some family up there who has a huge house and a couple Crup? A, a ton of, of land up there. And not only that, but they have a ginormous amount of guns and bullets. And in a zombie apocalypse, of course, that's what you need, right? You need guns and bullets. Plus, they have cows. So, you know, food's pretty much taken care of. Uh, you know, you go out there, you got your farm, you know, they, they got the cows, and they got the, the, the vegetables and stuff that you can plant to help sustain. Uh, the only thing that's, that's a little bit worried about their place is it's not too fortified from zombie attacks. It's, it is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. They, they have 90 acres, and their house is like smack dab in the middle of it. Um, and there's like a huge clearing all around their house. So, you know, there is that, but like as far as actual zombies go, there's nothing to really stop a zombie from walking up to their house and just breaking down the door or, or through the window or whatever. So, you know, obviously we'd have to add some fortifications. Now... Alabama's kind of a long way from where I live right now, so, you know, I live down in Florida, and that journey in and of itself would probably not be the easiest thing in the world, especially considering that we wouldn't have the guns until we got to Alabama. I don't know, like, I, I've, I've thought about this really hard, and like, what do you do in a situation like that? Like, would you run into a gun store, or a Walmart, or, you know, any place that, you know, has hunting equipment, and try and steal a gun? Because you know everyone else is going to try and do that, too, if they don't already own a gun, which I understand. You don't own a gun, and you live in America? Yeah, you know, believe it or not, not all of us own guns. I, I do own some guns but they're all in Alabama with Michelle's parents don't do me a lot of good do they um, <laughs> besides the point besides the point so yeah I, I don't know what you do in that situation because like even going into town like you, if you guys watch The Walking Dead here if I can do this without giving away any spoilers or if you've played any zombie type game uh, the last one I played was um, oh god uh, it wasn't Dead Rising what was it called State of Decay yeah 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 
that one. Like, you, you, you notice that, like, a lot of times in games like that, when you come into contact with other people, they're not always uh, of good intent, you know. Sometimes they want your stuff, so they will screw you over, they will try to kill you or get you killed in an attempt just to get your stuff so that they have a better chance of survival. So, you know, swinging into a place like Walmart or Target or, or you know, whatever may not be the best idea. Uh, not to mention most of those places are heavily populated, and when the zombie apocalypse happens, Heavily populated areas are going to be a huge no-no because one of the big things that is commonplace in everything zombie, zombie movies, zombie games, whatever, is zombies aren't dangerous necessarily when they're alone, but when you have a zombie horde, it can be a bit of a problem. You're going to have a bad time. Uh, just because it's, it's, there's, there's so many of them, it gets a little overwhelming. And, you know, I kind of, I don't know what I'd do about that. As far as food goes, I'm sure there's enough stuff in the pantry right now that we could chuck it all in there and be able to make it up to Alabama in time, uh, food-wise, provided the car lasted and, you know, all that stuff. If the car didn't last, we'd probably have to jack someone else's car. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe they were already dead, maybe they were zombified. Uh, some of the, st one of the other big things, like, I, I like to think about personally is like, alright, so what kind of weapons would you bring? Uh, you know, personally, uh, yeah, I understand, you know, like, the assault rifle is like the way to go because you can take down a huge horde of zombies, but, uh, you know, all relatively quickly, and, but, but one thing is, is like, first off, Michelle's parents, Michelle's parents, my wife's parents, don't actually have an assault rifle, um, all their weapons are semi-auto, um, or, or bolt action or pump action or what have you. But, not only that, but, like, a lot of the, the fully auto stuff, unless you go into, like, a military base, uh, the, that stuff is kind of hard to, to come by the ammo. The ammo's not the most common. Some of the more common ammos out there are, like, the uh, the 9mm is, like, hugely popular. Now, if you can get a, a, a fully automatic weapon that, that uh, uh, is a 9mm weapon, then, you know, more prompts to you, uh, you are obviously good to go because that's, that's something you got to consider when you're picking out your weapon is like how common is the ammo for this thing like I, some of you guys watch uh, uh the walking dead you know you'll see like uh, one of the rick the guy that one of the main characters uses a big old 44 mag eh, bullets for that aren't all that common you know a gun like that probably wouldn't be the best idea to carry around plus it's a revolver you only get what, six shots and then you're gonna have to reload that's six zombies and then you're reloading uh, now I've seen him in the show where he fires like 15 shots without reloading from that thing and then I've seen him you know like run out of ammo he's only got one in the chat you know all those sorts of situations uh, so that, that, you know, that's something you got to consider is what kind of ammo is it going to be taking. Something else you got to consider is you need a melee weapon because you're not always going to have ammo. And sometimes you got to be quiet, you know, the zombie herd. You don't want to alert them with the noise that you're making. You want to kind of stay stealthy. So what kind of melee weapon or silent weapon would you be using? You know, like uh, in in the, the, the Walking Dead series, like you got a guy that uses a, my favorite character, Daryl, has the crossbow. So silent it's not it's not a melee weapon i think he uses a knife too on occasion but you know most of them have like a knife or something of that sort uh you got the the there's there's a there's one chick that has a flipping katana which is amazing like an actually sharp one all the ones that i've ever seen are like the uh the decoration replica ones so they don't actually hurt anything or cut anything they're more just like uh, really hard blunt instruments you hit somebody with them and it'll really hurt them but you could probably hit them with a bat too and that'll really hurt them so it's, it's kind of along those lines. Now, personally, my melee weapon of choice would be a crowbar. Now, why a crowbar? First off, it's huge, it's heavy, it's made of solid, you know, metal. It's, it's, it's large and, and, and in charge. You don't got to worry about it breaking. And on top of it being able to, you know, not necessarily break, it's multi-purpose. You know, like if you need to get inside a building or pry open a door or whatever, you got a crowbar on you. You're already, you're already set, you know, you're good to go. You just use your crowbar. So it's, it's totally multi-purpose. So I'm totally down with using a crossbow for my zombie apocalypse weapon of choice. Uh, you know, I kind of, like I said, I already covered the food when I get, when, when you get up there to Alabama. When I get up there to Alabama, I'll be, I'll be doing the, the farming thing and, uh, staying away from the supermarkets and, and things of that nature. Uh, 
Now, here's one for you guys. If you were in the zombie apocalypse, would you trust another group of survivors? Say you ran up on another group of survivors. Would you trust them? Would you, like, would you try and feel them out? Would you try and, like, go back with your group and kind of vote on it if you were with the group? Would you Would you even run with a group? Or would you guys run solo? I already talked to you guys about it. I'd, I'd totally run with a group. It'd totally be family. And if I ran along any, across any friends, like, personal friends that I knew along the way, I'd totally be down for getting them on board as well. But if I don't know you, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, you're not coming with. It's kind of a, I'll let you go your way if you leave me alone sort of deal. But if you don't leave me alone, then you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> uh, so, you know, like, would you, would, I don't know, you tell me. I want to know whatever it is that's in your zombie plan to go ahead and try and survive. You know, tell me what kind of guns you're using, what kind of melee weapons. Are you going to be going solo? Are you going to be holing up? Uh, are you going to be on the move? Are you going to be with the group? What are you going to try and do? And I mean, uh, beyond, like, try and have some, some even future sight into that, you know, like, if you're going to be holding up, are you going to try and build a gigantic town, or are you going to just try and, uh, you know, just ham it up in, like, a little house or something like I plan on doing? Uh, you know, obviously, like I said, I was going to have all the fortifications and stuff, which, is, as far as that goes, I would be stealing uh, the uh, barbed wire from all the other farms around in the area and using that. And, uh, any other wood or anything like that, I can kind of do use and find around in the area to build up some fences. Um, uh, oh, and by the way, I don't think I actually mentioned my my uh, guns of choice. I, I just said I would be using weapons with more common ammo. I would try to get like uh, three weapons. I would try and get a nine millimeter pistol, like a Beretta, um, which uh, it w yeah, I, 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 one's in Alabama waiting on me if I can if I can make it up there. But uh, if I if I need to get one sooner, then you know I'd, I'd go I'd go that route. I try and get like an 870 shotgun, something like that, that uses a big old 12 gauge, and then I'd probably use either a 3030 or a 30 6 hunting rifle with a big old scope on it. Yeah, totally. So that's all I got for you guys today. Go ahead and let me know what your zombie apocalypse plan is in the comment section below. Guys, I want to know everything, and if I haven't thought of anything or any questions, you know, that, that are pertinent you feel in the zombie apocalypse, go ahead and ask me them, and I will go ahead and try my best to answer them. Guys, don't forget also to leave Everett a happy birthday comment, and yes, this video was taken in multiple takes because my baby kept getting upset. Sorry about that if it sounded choppy. This is Puppy signing out. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.